thank you, thank you, everyone. And uh, before 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 I start this this session, I'd, I'd like to uh, introduce some um, about the Kata containers. And you know, we have uh, we are going to release, or maybe we have released the 1.0 of Kata containers uh, at the uh, in the midnight. <laughs> so you 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 could you 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 can already check out it from the GitHub to see the 1.0 of, of the Kata containers. And uh, uh, we have introduced the Kata containers in yesterday's keynote. And uh, today, we will have a whole day Kata sessions and from, the, uh, from the Kata community. And I think uh, every, every hour, we have, we have sessions uh, that from, the, from Intel, from Hyper.sh, this one, and from the uh, Red Hat, and from uh, uh, from ARM and from uh, Alibaba, and there are my, many, many topics uh, related ar around uh, Kata containers today. So if you are, have, some, have any interest in with the uh, Kata containers, just uh, uh, come, to, come to the sessions and, uh, and, and ask the, the Kata, Kata guys. And uh, moreover, we have, the, have uh, another working uh, developer day in the in the Thursday, so uh, there will be a will be a, a conference room for the uh, for the for the Kata develop development uh, in the in the Thursday. You can you can find it in the in the in the schedule and uh, just uh, just come to the to room and uh, uh, there there will be uh, will be the Kata. Kata, Kata team in the in the room and we discussed any any questions you 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 want to know about the development of the the Kata, especially about the roadmap after the 1.0. And so now I will begin my, my, my session. And this is uh, this is a Kubernetes related, related session based on based on Kata, Kata containers. And so. Uh, I I I have present a, a sim, similar similar topic in the the KubeCon in Copenhagen. And is there anyone attend the KubeCon there? Ah, okay. And uh, good. So so it's 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 new for for most of the, the audience. That good. And in the in this topic, there's three parts. The first part is about the Kubernetes CRI. So so it's a uh, it's about two years, two years effort, develop effort in the in the Kubernetes community and in the, especially in the Node team, and then I will introduce the current CRI implementations, and the the most uh, the important part is uh, I will introduce how we how we work with the how the Kata containers work with the CRI. And uh, here is a brief uh, brief star history of the Kubernetes CRI interface. And so, uh, actually, that's that began uh, uh, over two years ago. And at that time, uh, Rocket from the CoreOS, uh, which is acquired by Red Hat now, and that at their their implement their runtime support in the in the Kubelet, uh, as the second runtime. Yes, the first one is the, the Docker. And which increased the complexity of the maintenance of the kubelet. And every, every, every routine you need maintain one, one, one set, one part modification in the, in the Docker part, and you need to modify the other part for the, for the rocket. And the, 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 worst, the worst case is another company is joining the community and try to become a third one. Yes, yeah, that, that's, that's us. And uh, we try to make the or uh, the the hyper, hyper hyper solution become the third runtime in the in the kubelet, and uh, and the, the the hyper run v is just the, the uh, one of the the previous uh, previous project be, uh, before the uh, the Kata containers. Yep. So at that time, the the Kubernetes community have the discussion to try to uh, decouple the the runtime and the and the kubelet. Uh, the effort is uh, the kubelet uh, should not vendor uh, runtime implementations. And uh, then a developer from Google CoreOS and Hyper.sh drafted the, the, uh, the kubelet runtime interface together. 
uh, that's the the the, CR, uh, the the beginning of the uh, CRI. Um, at that time, the, it's in the the late two, 2015. So um, uh, the GRPC has already released, and uh, at that time we 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 do a benchmark between the, the GRPC and the HTTP uh, REST interface, and then it's just clear we should we should we should choose the GRPC as the the, the interface for, uh, interface uh, format, and then and then the the node team implement, implements the first CRI CRI implementation. That's the Docker shim and the, and and the Hyper SH team and the Google team. Uh, uh, together, we, we create uh, the another another implementation called Fracti, and that's for the for the hyper run, run time. Uh, yeah, about Fracti, this is, I think this is the f the first time I introduced how we named the Fracti in the in the slides, and uh, actually it's named from another Greek word, <laughs> and you know the Kubernetes itself is come from from a a, a Greek word that related to navigation, and, and uh, then the the fact is another word that's in the same style, and uh, it's the bulk height. It's a, a partition in the in the ships, and so it's try to keep the ship safe with the isolation technologies, and. Uh, and one more thing is about the about the the fact it is about this technology is first right in a book from the uh, the Song Dynasty of the of China, and it's about uh, about one thousand years ago, and they they write them in in a book to to describe how they use the the isolation to keep the ship safe. So so we we pick this word for the for the for the runtime just for. Uh, for the isolation and uh, secure, yeah. and uh, this this CI runtime is contributed by C, uh, Hyperdoc SH engineers. And we we can um, besides we can we can run the the non privileged containers with Hyperd and RunV. Uh, we make make it uh, it could run the untrusted code, and also we run the privileged containers with the Docker shim and. Uh, uh, in last year, the, uh, there is a Summer of Code project from uh, the students from, from Zhejiang University of China. They, they contributed another module for the Fracti to uh, support the unikernels. Yeah. Uh, compared to, the, compared to the, uh, the Cryo and the Container D, the, the Fracti is a, really, it's a thin layer of the, of the uh, of the for the for the CR, CRI interface, and not only because it's the the first first non non Docker shim uh, CRI implementation, but also the the uh, the hyper uh, runtime the the RunV itself, and also like the the Kata containers, their API support all the CRI uh, semantics, so that's fairly easy to to support the CRI interface, because they are developed together, and. Uh, about the CRI interface, and the CRI interface there, there is a, uh, first the, the left part is the, uh, is the, yeah, the left part is the, about the kubelet. There is a, a sync loop in the, inside the, the kubelet, and then there is a generic runtime, generic runtime interface. So uh, every, everything, the kubelet one, it's called a generic uh, runtime. And then uh, it's used uh, the CR, gRPC-based gRPC uh, uh, CRI interface to uh, create, delete, or list the sandbox, or to start, create, start, uh, execute in the contain, uh, for the for a container, and also there is an, an interface service. And this is uh, describe what the Kubernetes need needs for, the, for, for a container runtime. And currently, both the, the the container D and all the Corel also support the, the CRI runtime, and they, they have passed all the E2E test for the for the Kubelet. And the CRI interface is uh, is, is extensible. So, um, and in the in the new newer version of Kubernetes, they may they may introduce new interface for for it. And here is a, a brief introduction for the for the CRI, CRI interface that's about the life cycle of the 
of a pod. Uh, firstly, it will run the run the pod, and uh, it create a sand uh, pod, pod sandbox. Uh, that's the the outside the the big sandbox for the whole pod, and then it will create a container inside inside the the sandbox and start them one by one. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, it's an imperative interface, and uh, just like just like we we do the 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 operation step by step with the, the Docker. So um, the status is uh, in, the, in, the, in the bottom line, it's first created and then created and then it's become running and, and at last it's, it's exit and remove the container from the pod. And also there is part about the streaming in the, in the CRI. And this is a, a, a bit new, uh, a, a bit new in, uh, part of the CRI interface. And uh, uh, from the beginning, the Kubelet need to set up a, a stream, stream connection between the Kubelet and the API server. And then the Kubelet will, will get, uh, have a stream, uh, streamline with the, the, the runtime and the runtime with the kernel, so with, no, no, with, with, the, with the, the container. So there's a, a, a long pipeline. And uh, the, after we add the stream interface in the CRI, we can set up a, set up a stream server inside the CRI runtimes. And uh, uh, then the API server could call the, the CRI runtime, uh, call the CRI shim for the, uh, for the stream, such as uh, EXEC or something else directly without, without pa pass the, the IO stream through the kubelet. So that's a uh, that's a improvement on the on the the workflow and the performance. Yeah, and that's a brief intro introduction of the CRI itself. And then we I can I could introduce the existing CRI runtimes, the Corel, CRI Container D, and Fracti, and how they work. And the existing CRI runtimes include first the the, the Container D and the, uh, its CRI plugin. Formerly, it's a CRI container D, and now uh, it has been included in the uh, in the in the release of the the container D. So there is a there is a uh, there is a plugin that's shipped with the with the container D, and it could be could be run directly with the container D, um, because the container D is a fully pluggable uh, pluggable architecture. So. Um, it's only implements uh, as an uh, gRPC plugin, and then the, it, uh, the the plugin will call the the the, uh, the other part of the the container D. And uh, the Corel is uh, the this product is initiate, uh, in, initiated by Red Hat, and it's a, it's a community work, and it's it's just to write a new. Uh, CRI dedicate daemon for the for the containers and run the container with run C, and uh, and also uh, there are many contributions for, from the uh, from other other teams such as the Clear Container team and uh, Hyper team. We, we will make, make we make it could run not only the run C but also the Clear containers and now uh, which which is the another pre previous project for the for the. For the Kata containers, and now uh, the Kata containers could be uh, could be launched with the uh, Cryo as well. Also, the Fracti is uh, uh, just like I, I introduced uh, in the previous page. It's from the Hyper Hyper SH. It's another CI runtime. I will show how, what's the difference between the runtimes. Uh, here is uh, the container D part, uh, as I, I just said about it. Uh, from the from the left side, it is the the kubelet, and uh, here is an uh, uh, CRI interface for the uh, from the through the gRPC. Uh, early uh, from the begin begin stage, the 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 CRI container run is uh, is another demo, but now it it has a plugin of the of the container D, so it could just. Uh, 
uh, as a as a uh, as a gRPC plugin be, uh, that's that's called through the gRPC interface, and then uh, it will have the uh, have interface for the for the other for the other services such as meta metadata service and the runtime service and storage service and so on. Uh, they could call it call it directly, and uh, um, for the for the runtime parts. And uh, yeah, which we, which we focus on, it will will create runtimes and uh, set up the shims for the uh, for the signal and the IO streams. Um, and then the crawl, they are pretty similar, right? So um, from the so I I just uh, leave the the empty box there to make the the two figures looks identical, <laughs> yes. And uh, the the scroll is is quite similar, and it create create the uh, a contain, container as for the for the sandbox, and uh, then create container containers inside the inside the the, the sandbox, and uh, set up the shims for the uh, for the uh, signal proxy uh, signal proxy and. Uh, uh, for the signal process uh, and and the IOS dreams, and then it's the uh, fracty. Uh, that's that's a bit different. And uh, so, um, it's called the uh, it's called the runtimes through the the runtimes library instead of the 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 command line. And uh, so, uh, there's the only gRPC interface a bit and uh, no no some command line calls through uh, between the between the demons. And uh, the fact itself is uh, it's very thin, uh, thin layer, and then it will call the uh, docker shim for the for the privileged containers, and also for the uh, called the unikernels, and also called the uh, the so-called hyperd to to create the runv container. And inside the hyperd, it it manages all the streams and uh, and signals inside the daemon, so there is no. Uh, no extra shim, shim process for the uh, for the containers, and it create the sandbox and create containers in, uh, inside the sandbox. And um, about uh, except this, it's, it's it's just similar with the uh, with the previous one. And uh, now we have to get into our main topic. Uh, that's about the CRI and the Kata containers. Uh, so uh, as I, I mentioned before, uh, Intel Clear containers and uh, Hyperdoc SH Run V, they all began began through the 2000, 2015 and and announced in the same month, uh, to, uh, in the May of 2015, and uh, we developed for two years and uh, uh, we have actually we have many uh, discuss, discussion between the teams and to try to try to make things identical and uh, reduce the, the difference between the two projects. And finally, we uh, we merged the two projects in last December in 2000, 2017. And so, uh, actually, I should add add another milestone in the in the in the right part, and that's the. Uh, just just today, we announced the uh, 1.0 of the Kata containers. And here is the, about the, the technical vision of the Kata containers. What we are we are we are working on uh, on the Kata containers. Uh, firstly, it's a light and fast VM-based containers. Um, for the for the metrics uh, in in the uh, in the previous work, it's not. Not test for the for the new 1.0 release. We could we could launch the container in about um, when we op optimize it's it's, uh, it's properly properly it could launch in about 100 millisecond. And uh, we have the metrics about the runtime uh, runtime overhead. The, um, the runtime overhead it will be uh, will be 10 times lower than the traditional VMs, but uh, there's still some gap with the with the with the uh, container based uh, <laughs> names based based containers. Yeah, that's, that's easy to understand. And uh, uh, we merged the we merged the the currently Intel Clear containers and uh, hyper 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 run V technologies and support existing user projects such as the Fracti. 
And uh, there will be a seamless integration with the Kubernetes CRI, with Docker, and with other OpenStack, OpenStack projects such as uh, the, the, the Zone. And there will be also an, another topic on this uh, today. And uh, we support multiple arch architectures. Uh, currently, we support the, the x86 and uh, and the armies armies uh, could could work in could work, armies works works now and will be improved later and also the the power PC from 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 IBM and we support uh, multiple hypervisors uh, currently we we works on the the Cumul and the, later the. Uh, the then, then support will be add back and LKVM tools. Uh, all the all these have already uh, existed in the in the run V part, and we are we are working on to add them back to the to the Kata containers. Uh, just uh, that's a post 1.0 uh, really um, uh, roadmap. So uh, that's uh, the technical about the technical part of the Kata containers. And for the for the more detail about the 1.0 release, there will be a Another another session just for the for the release. Uh, Eric will will introduce this uh, in this afternoon and the same 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 meeting room, and in two p.m. Right? Yeah, and then there's eleven a.m. Sebastian's giving too. Oh, uh, uh, another another eleven a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, eleven a.m. and uh, two p.m. Yeah, two sessions, and uh, about how Kata uh, Kata works and. Uh, we have introduced this in the in, in, in many many sessions. Yeah, uh, we 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 enca encapsulate the 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 containers of the pod inside of VM, and yeah, so so every pod every pod will have their own VM, yes, and it between the pod between the pods if if one if one pod is uh, is compromised by some uh, by some some. Some bad users. They 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 couldn't access the uh, the other the other parts. So that's that that will be safe for the uh, for multi tenant multi tenant uh, use case. And yeah, we call it securized VM, but fast as container. Uh, also, one more thing uh, we want to we want to say is uh, because this is a. a a general, general, general purpose VM actually, so we can we can support the technology such as the uh, hardware uh, hardware pass through for the for the for the accelerators such as the GPUs and others. We also support to um, um, maybe heterogeneous kernels. Uh, in some cases, we may we may have the different kernel kernel version, different kernel modules, or different. Uh, kernel configurations uh, for the for different use case and in some in some enterprise case they, they have uh, they have such user case uh, and also uh, for 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 the virtual machine we have developed many many of the the accelerating technologies such as the warehouse user and others for the uh, for NFV and other case so that's all could be applied in the in Kata containers. And this is uh, the about the kata. And uh, and uh, yes, um, kata containers is designed to com compatible with the, the CRI. So uh, we have two my two in, uh, integration methods for the for the Kubernetes. And the first one is kata containers as a standalone tool. That's a, a runtime command line tool. Uh, it's just uh, compatible with the run C command line. So uh, you could uh, the the demons, the CRI demons will generate uh, gen generate a uh, 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 OCI spec and call it call it uh, with the Run C compatible command line and just launch the uh, the containers inside the uh, for the for the for the pod. And uh, by by other way, Kata containers have already had a uh, sandbox based uh, 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 runtime library. So. So you could you could just call the call the library and integrate it with your your uh, with your uh, applications or maybe uh, such as Fracti. It could just call the call the, the runtime library to to create the sandbox and create a container inside it and use the the 
use the the stream stream handling and uh, pro, uh, and signal handling inside the library, so that they, there is no need for the, for additional uh, shim pro, uh, shim or proxy processes inside inside the, in the in the machines. You you can only have a one 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 process for the for the containers con, uh, for the for the VM itself. Uh, here is the how containerd or Corel integration integrate with the Kata, Kata containers. Uh, here we call the uh, we call the uh, uh, in the, the bottom line we we, we could we should uh, prepare the storage storage part for the for the for the containers and uh, we will pass this as a as a directory to the uh, to the Kata Kata agent. Also, we will. Uh, we will create this through the Kata command line to create a, a pass and box, and also create the uh, uh, start the, the agent inside the sandbox. The Kata agent will communicate with uh, with the, the runtime uh, through a, uh, maybe through a proxy. Uh, here, the proxy is uh, optional. Uh, if we have the VSOC, uh, the 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 socket for the for the virtual machine. Uh, if there is VSOC support in the host, uh, we don't need to have a, a proxy process for the uh, for the for the for the for the Kata containers. You can just uh, uh, just call it as a as a gRPC server. And uh, if you don't don't have a VSOC support, you must use the word serial. Uh, if you use a, it's as a serial part because the serial part inside can, inside you could not treat it as a uh, as a socket, so you have you must do the the multiplex for the for it. Uh, for the multi for the max and the dmax, we we must have a proxy outside the outside the serial part and another uh, dmax in the uh, in the Kata agent. So that's why we have a proxy here, and uh, uh, the shim all the shims and the Kata command line will will call the the proxy all call the VSOC itself. With the uh, with the gRPC based uh, protocol between the runtime and the Kata proxy, and to create the container inside. And inside there is another OCI, OCI spec that have already translated by the runtime part, and it's uh, called the Kata agent. It will create the the containers with the translated uh, OCI OCI spec. And uh, yeah, this is how we how we create the. Uh, containers inside the uh, Kata, and for the for the fracty part, it will be uh, a bit simpler. And uh, uh, there's the some ongoing ongoing um, not 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 implemented yet. The, the fracty part, uh, we are working on this. Uh, we have the called the called the Kata lib in the in the in the fracty, and the Kata lib will just. Uh, Create with the create the sandbox and uh, and and manage the streams and the signals for the for the for the for the containers, and because the all the, the multiple multiplex and dmax work is done in the in the Kata lib and the Kata agent, so there is no proxy here, and also there is a, a pro, a streams management inside the Kata lib, so we don't we don't have the additional shim pro process, and. Uh, and there is also the we we will we will create the translated uh, OCI spec and pass it to the to the Kata agent and then the Kata agent will create containers. And there is uh, actually it's it's pretty sim uh, simple for the for this case. And uh, also I'd like to have a, a demo for it, but uh, unfortunately that's I have. N no enough time to to make make it run. It's we have we have made some significant change before before we release the the 1.0, and uh, so so we hope we we could make the the demo later for you, and for the in the Kata community. But uh, be sure you you will watch on our 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 uh, our Kata Kata mailing list and Kata Slack, and also you can attend the the Kata our committee meeting. And it will be held uh, every week or, or by week, uh, by weekly. Just uh, just watch it, watch it on the Kata Kata Container Style, and we will we will have the have the demo for it in maybe maybe the next the next meetings. 
uh, the comparisons, yeah, uh, how many code we could share and uh, uh, do we have uh, shims or proxy processes? And uh, also the shim and the uh, uh, process will consume some memory. So if you are very, very uh, uh, sensible about the memory consumptions, uh, the, uh, use it as a lib, maybe the, a better choice. And if you just want to make it, uh, use it as the, the run uh, a substitute of run C and uh, co work with run C, that's, that will be a, a better fit for the, uh, for the cryo or the, the, the container D part. And uh, about more resources, um, uh, for, the, for the, actually currently for the, for the, for the fract part, we could uh, insert the root FS as a, and the volumes as a block device for the, uh, for the, for the Kata containers. And uh, could use the, some, some additional, some additional uh, network plugins for them. Um, uh, but the, in the in the cryo and the community part, the good thing is uh, that's fully fully compatible with the the, the Run C part. So you, you could just use the the same the same image image storage for for both the for both Run C and the Kata containers. Uh, yeah, the both Fracti and uh, and the and the container D, they all use the standard Docker images or OCI images, but for the local storage, they are, they are different. For Fracti, they have their own storage, so they could insert, insert it as a block device to the, to the, to the, to the, to the Kata container sandbox, and the, the run C or the, or the, or the Kata, uh, or the, uh, or the Kata containers run command line, they will use the, the, the the, the file system sharing part. And uh, that's the comp uh, comparison. And uh, what's the next about the Fracti? Uh, um, uh, for the next, uh, uh, first day, the, there will be an integration with the container D and we'd like to uh, make the, make the Fracti to be a, to be a plugin for the, for the container D and uh, to, to become to share share more parts with the community, uh, uh, other community, and to make the users have uh, less but better choice, and uh, but they, they still need some some work because the, there is some uh, inter plugin communication uh, is needed. There is still still an an and the discussion part, and also we could uh, we will do the. Integration with the uh, Kata runtime lib. This will be the, the done very soon, and uh, also we will introduce uh, improvements on the unikernel like uh, runtime support. There will be others, and uh, also uh, if you want, maybe you could uh, add some features. Just use the Unix domain socket to ask the Kata agent to create the the containers inside the. Uh, the host instead of the uh, inside a, a VMs because the the Kata agent itself is based on lib container so uh, so that will be pretty similar to what the Rancic created. That's not means we want to do something for. It's just if you want to work, use it inside just one daemon to to create all, to to finish all the job. Uh, this may be a choice. Uh, and it's based on lib, uh, based on the lib container for for run C, so that will be uh, keep identical. And uh, so so we call it general. And also uh, here's the link. The uh, the QR code is also the, the link. Uh, in the in this blog post, we we introduced all the the Kata related sessions of in in this in this summit. Uh, so Eric, I don't think you need to to scan it. Uh, you 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 have already learned how, all the, all the topics. So uh, so that's all. Yeah. Uh, is there any questions? Oh, cool. Have a good day. <laughs>